Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Heather, Marcy, Unique, Camille. Hey, my loves. Hey, everybody. Good afternoon. Ebony. <laughs> Miss Money. Hey, my loves, nieces and nephews. Hopefully, y'all are having a great start to your week. Hey, Heather G. <laughs> hey, Miss Nakia. Thank y'all so much for the likes. Ah, for the exchange of energy, the patience. <laughs> for tuning in, right? Um, I am an overall. I am doing well. Thank you, Heather. It's a, uh, it's grief, right? <laughs> if you've ever lost a parent, that thing be heavy. So, it's it's a roller coaster. <laughs> Marcy. Oh, it's been a hectic day. We're gonna turn that thing around. If anyone needs um. Just like a quick pick me up message. Um, make sure you're following me on IG weekly. I will make sure that I post um, a weekly message on Monday. That's going to be my new schedule. Um, and then somewhere between about Wednesday and Thursday, I'm going to try to get like a weekend message out there, possibly Friday. We'll just see. But I'll have two messages for elements on my Instagram. So make sure you're going over there. It's primarily going to be a lot of Oracle cards, not videos. So something for you to engage in without needing to tune into a whole video. But anyways, let's get to the reason why I'm here on this live. Um, if you're new here, I am an overall intuitive reader. So I will always give out the intuitive message before getting into the cards to confirm and dive deeper. This is an overall collective message, which means for everybody, all genders, all races, all cultures. OK, hey, Shani, um, only take what resonates with you. When we say that as readers, that means what um, aligns with your thoughts, your actions, your wishes, your prayers, your life. If it doesn't align with that, then that means that part of the message is for someone else. Um, and reverse the roles or the story as needed. If you know that this situation is something that's happening to you, it's not something that you're doing to someone else, then just put yourself in the right role in the story, okay? And as always, if you can't stay, I will make sure that this, uh, this particular reading is on YouTube. I'm one story behind. So if anyone is like looking for the, <laughs> the reading that we just recently did, um, for whatever reason, it keeps glitching when it's downloading, but I'll make sure that it is on YouTube. So follow me over there. All of my readings are timeless. If you happen to find another reading that catches your eye on YouTube, The Healing Butterfly is my only channel. So make sure you tune in. Could give you some insight, um, regardless of the date that it was posted. So getting into this intuitive message today, I feel like someone thinks that you're playing. Someone thinks that um, they have conditioned you to keep going along with the story, going along with the grain, going along with what they tell you, going along with it. Um, I don't know if this is a lover per se. This could result in work. This could be a family member. Somebody who thinks that they have you conditioned that no matter how much you fuss, maybe in the past, no matter how angry you got in the past, you always eventually, you broke. You broke the silence. You broke and just went along with the situation. You broke and just allowed it to be. Whatever it was, I feel like this is someone who thinks, oh, just give them some time. They'll come back around. They'll get back to it. They'll do what I told them to do. Something like that. Somebody thinks that you're just playing. You just need a minute to calm down. They're just all worked up. They'll come back. Don't worry. They'll come back. That's the energy I have. It's, it's, it's given pompous. It's given arrogance. It's, it's like somebody is not even... If you walked away from someone, stop talking to someone block someone and they haven't tried to connect with you they haven't tried to find you they haven't really pursued you the way that you would think that they would that's because they think that you're playing they think that you're putting on a mask for maybe friends for family for other co-workers trying to act like you're putting your foot down but you're not someone really thinks that you're a joke like someone really thinks that you're playing right now so we're gonna see what it's about but i, I i've got to be honest I, I don't think my collective is playing this time. Like, it really might get ugly. I'm hearing something like I may really have to put you on blast or um, really give you a piece of my mind. Not even getting outside myself, but really just stating the facts. I think there's something that y'all have been biting your tongue about. Like, I've been wanting to tell you that you was a sap ass parent for a long time. But since we're not together and I can really just take, you know, take my child and leave, let me just tell you how I feel about you. Um, it could be a... a, a a boss, 
you know what? I'm, I'm sick of this shit. I got a new job that's coming to me anyways. Let me just tell you about yourself and how you don't really run this team and you are a horrible person. Like whatever it is, somebody's going to tempt you to the point that you're going to, they're going to open Pandora's box and this shit going to get ugly. That's all I can really say. Somebody really is taking this moment as, oh, they'll get over it. It'll be fine. Everything will go back to normal. It's not. It's not going back to normal. That person's not coming back around. Collective is done with the bullshit. And I'm hearing that some of y'all are either looking at people who have maybe worked paycheck to paycheck and now they're 50 something years old still dealing with the same bullshit or someone who stayed in a marriage because of the kids. And here we are 25 years later, stressed out. I don't love myself. I don't even know who I am. Like, I feel like y'all have seen stories, heard of stories testimonies where people have dealt with whatever it is particularly to you collective and you're not going to be another victim or you're not going to be another part of that that collective that just goes along with the grain because this is the job I have or this is the person I had kids with or that's my parent or whatever or we've been dating for 10 years or whatever it is it, it's not a bit it's not enough it's not enough to keep collective in that low vibrational bullshit anymore it's not enough Especially when you feel like you've conditioned someone. Because that, that. <laughs> Let me tell you something. From Lady Day perspective, that alone, that word, I conditioned you. Like that sentence, that phrase would have you in a white chalk outline and messing with me. Do you hear me? I've conditioned you. So I've been nothing but something for you to mold and play with. See, like sometimes we got to slow down and actually hear what people are saying to us. Just because they said it in a tone that sounded sexy or they said it, said it in a tone that sounded friendly doesn't mean that that was a friendly ass comment. So somebody might talk to you in the way that they say what they say. They say it, oh, well, you know, or they try to come off real sexy or, or sweet. Uh-uh. Words are still words. So let's not let the tone change the fact that someone may be insulting you. This That probably is more for those that this pertains to work okay like a what they call it a backhanded compliment like backhanded compliment type shit yeah collective is not doing that anymore mm -mm. all right let's see what's going on with this message go further yeah maturity we've outgrown we've outgrown it you're not going to trigger me right you're not going to make me go back to the person i used to be because then i'm gonna be doing 25 to life probably and i ain't got that to do <laughs> just kidding but seriously taking a mature route about this because i could really blast you i could really cuss you out like i said whatever you're going to say or however you're going to move it's in a very mature way you're not just flying off the handle right you're not just cussing and acting a fool for no reason you're gathering your things <laughs> and you're going to where you're appreciated where you're loved properly where you're paid properly Right. Where you're accepted, where you're loved and cared for, whatever this is, the things and the people that you're cutting out, the I'm also hearing something about circles or groups, different groups that you might associate with. All of that is changing the way that you handle people or the way that you allow people to handle you. All of that's changing because we're not going to do that. I rather I'm sitting by myself in my house anyway. So why am I sitting here running behind you to call me? Why am I sitting here running behind you to text me? Running behind you to, to schedule a date when at the end of the day, after all that running around behind you, I still end up just feeling like I'm alone. I still feel like I'm single. I still feel like my word that I gave at work in the middle of the meeting don't mean shit. I still think that this grand scheme plan that I came up with for us to be better co-parents just as to shit because you're not listening no way so whatever it is it's like a lot of energy that y'all have put into things trying to take a higher ground a higher road thank you spirit and it just keeps falling flat so let me so let me show you I can show I'm here and I can show you better than I can tell you hey my loves okay that's a whole lot of that's a whole lot of whole lot of we got the miser, we got past lives, and we got the full card. Taking a leap of faith towards something that you want, that you wish, a new life. Even if you happen to fall off the edge of the cliff and you bust your lip, it's better than being in the turmoil of the past. So some of y'all are like, even though you might be afraid to go to a new job, go to a new house, go start something new, it, that would even be better than me just sitting here dealing with the old bullshit because I know that's not going to get me nowhere. Yeah, I might hit a brick wall. I might stub my toe. 
but at least I'm three steps further closer to what I want, the life that I desire, the lifestyle that I see myself living, happiness, joy, health, peace, tranquility, high self-esteem, whatever that means for you. Taking the leap towards that is so much better than being stagnant in the old, right? Past lives, you've already learned these lessons. Either those who d dive deep enough in your past lives or just with past people in this life. See, you keep meeting the same person over and over until you learn, right? Contracts, soulmates, quote unquote, t twin flames. These are, con these are people, personalities, soul types that you're supposed to meet that's supposed to trigger you to learn to grow y'all have some type of miser like i said someone who either has some type of they think they have a hold over you like the miser the miser has all the money all the goods all the everything you would go to this person right for credit for money for a loan so this would be someone like i said that that i feel like they feel like they own you they conditioned you to be the way that you're going to be and i'm just going to breadcrumb you with the little bit that i'm going to give you that's what this miser energy is giving me but you're supposed to learn the lesson of, I feel like spirit keeps bringing me back to titles. If y'all have watched the last couple lives, I keep talking about the titles in your life. Mother, manager, boyfriend, girlfriend, wife, husband. These titles that we have in life and someone is using these titles to try to tell you, you need to keep dealing with the bullshit. Don't let titles get you caught up and trapped in something, okay? That's that's the number one message that I'm hearing as we move forward with allowing these eight eight, these eight 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 prayers, messages, affirmations, rituals, magic, whatever you did for that eight eight eight, it will require you to look at things from a higher perspective and then take action to align with it. Okay. Don't let titles trip you up. Um, I think that's the number one thing. Oh, but we were we were such and such for so long. Okay, and and didn't I say somebody wants to control you? They think that they have conditioned you. They think that they know what you're going to do. You're just going to have a little tantrum, and you're going to come back and do what they told you to do. That's what someone thinks. Family, friend, co-worker, boss, somebody really thinks that they can control this situation. Listen, we are exhausted. We are tired of being played with, pushed and pulled. Our emotions being triggered, right? You want it like all this mental, emotional and physical abuse that some of us are taking on. I'm sick of this shit and I'm not a robot. Thank you, robot. Someone thinks that you'll just keep doing it like a fucking energizer bunny. You'll just keep doing it. And I don't know what this doing it is. But we're, we're done. We're mature enough to know that we're not anybody's slave in whatever avenue of life. Source, whatever it is, I feel like y'all have brought like there's something in the core of you that is starting to really get revved up. I'm, I'm seeing it like how a volcano goes erupts, but it starts deep in the core of the earth first. And there's something that's at the bottom pit of your stomach that's like. Getting hungry for it. Thank you, spirit. You ever have someone say, when you get hungry enough for it, you'll make it happen? When you get sick and tired of being sick and tired and you finally want something real in your life, you'll go make it happen? That's this point. That's this energy. That's the wave that you're riding right now. It's time to go have that adventure. It's time to go figure out what aligns with who you are today. Not by title, not because I'm an employee of this person or I'm this person's spouse or I'm this person's sister or I'm this person's brother. No, I want to go claim the life that I live for me. So I don't know what this is for you particularly. I believe each and every one of y'all know what it feels like you're a slave to. Well, you know, I got to go take care of. If you find yourself like, oh my gosh, I got to go do that. There's something in that that God is trying to wake you up that you don't have to. You're choosing to. You're choosing to keep yourself on those same cycles with those same situations. Thank you, spirit. The adventure is with the full source has already made shown you what you need to learn from past situations or past lives. Like I said, and even after we go back. And we go, you know, we give. Oh, I need you to show up like this. I need you to love me like that. 
I'm, I'm communicating what I need from you, my lover. They still end up leaving you alone or not fulfilling your cup or not fulfilling what you asked them to do or doing a little bit, just enough to get you off their back. And then they're going to go back to doing the same thing where you feel like, okay, well, did I even, am I talking to myself? Am I talking to a brick wall? Always ready to share, always ready to heal, always ready to give. It's time for y'all to start receiving some of this abundance, not just giving it out. Not just giving it out. You exist as well. Your dreams, your goals, your manifestations, your wish. I'm hearing Wish Upon a Star by Rolls Royce. A wish upon a star. Yes. Whatever that is, you deserve. I am hearing Mama D from Love and Hip Hop. I deserve, but <laughs> if you know Love and Hip Hop and Mama D, oh, that lady. <laughs> Whatever it is, you don't deserve to be just alone in, in the core of all of this going on. You deserve to have abundance at this time. So God is asking you to go out there and make it happen. Claim it for yourself, my loves. One moment. Let me get another set of cards. And then I'm going to get some tarot. One moment. What tarot cards are you using today? Thank you. Also, you may be connected to someone. If this is a lover, family member, or a direct reporting boss, lover, family member, or your direct reporting boss, if that fits in here anyway, they could be getting some type of residual blessings on the back end from you. And I know people wonder like, oh, how does that happen? Yes, your goodness, your blessings can rub off on those that are around you. And I feel like, just like they say, don't mess with that person, they got karma. You deal with them, you're going to deal with their karma. Well, you deal with collective, you deal with their dharma, their good energy, their positive energy, their blessed energy. And just like we know, people do siphon energy. So people around you could be getting new things, new promotions, winning the lottery, just like random goodness going on for them. You're like, what the fuck is going on? This person is like so negative. Why do they keep there's something about somebody particularly that could be getting like your residual blessings because you're not learning your lesson. You're not removing yourself out of this situation. They are siphoning your energy. They make you feel like one minute you feel like this abundant, shining, bright, high self-esteem, vibing, doing what you need to do. You're focused. And this person comes around in one argument and you feel like this now. One connection with this person and you feel like that now. Like now you're, you, it, there's a reason that you feel drained. I'm just going to, I'm just going to let you know. There's a reason. You are the empress. You have already learned from home permit mode. So if you find yourself just like, oh my God, there goes the release card right under that. These two cards is what this looks like to me. I'm in my empress energy. I'm abundant. I'm flowing. I got things coming in my life. Then I go and deal with that one person and now I don't want to talk to nobody. Shit ain't going right. Bills is coming in left and right. Be very mindful who you spend your time with. Be mindful of who you let into the, in, the intimate details of your life. You got blessings coming in, money coming in. That ain't for everybody to know. You got a new job with a new tax bracket. That ain't for everybody to know. You got a brand new car because you just won the lottery. That ain't for everybody to know. Why do you think people say, don't let everybody just pray for you. They could be praying on your downfall. It's the same way with this. Don't give nobody no bullets and no gun to shoot you in the back later. Somebody say she talking today. <laughs> Thank you, my love. Hey, nieces and nephews. Thank y'all so much. This could even be an old, snobby, rich aunt or uncle. If that happens to, to resonate with anybody. Okay, it could be. All right, go further into this message with the tarot. The chariot, forward movement, right? Successfully balancing this situation out. Seeing the good for the good and the bad for the bad and, and packing only what we need for the future. Connecting with those that we only want in our future, right? I'm hearing something about healthy boundaries. I heard that very loud. Healthy boundaries. I'm hearing it's time to see the light and the dark in people. 
Yeah, that's that's your ace boom coon and y'all been friends since knee high to a grasshopper, but they got some toxic ass traits or they have some toxic ass ways or something like that. Let's not sugarcoat that some of our A1 day one people got some shit that they need to heal and we really need to take a step back until that person cleans that up. That's like knowing that somebody is an active, you know, I don't I don't want to put a mm. If someone's always doing something illegal all the time, you're going to go ride out with them all the time? No, because they're always getting an illegal shit. It's the same way. If someone's always in a bad, fucked up mood, negative energy, always got something negative to say, why would I put myself around you? That's that's low vibration. You're going to suck up all my goodness and then transfers of energy. You're going to suck up all my goodness and then what do I have? Now I got to build me back up again. While you're on my back trying to have me build you up. That's not how that works. Two of Swords, being unable or unwilling to make a decision. Each and every one of y'all ask yourselves, what decision are you not willing to make, willing to look at? What situation are you overanalyzing when it's quite simple, you just need to blah. You just need to ugh, fill in the blank. Whatever that is for forward movement, you know what that is. Like, I feel like each and every one of us can say, yeah, you know what, I'll... I wanted that beach body, but I ain't been on that treadmill not one minute. You know what I mean? Like, so how are we going to get there? I want, I know that new job is mine. I already connected with some people over there who said they would hire me right away. Well, why haven't we put in that application? Like, everybody has something. We all have something, okay? You want to manifest this into your life, but you're nickel and diming yourself with getting there. You know that you have people that you can connect with or network with or some type of opportunity somewhere the three of cups talk about celebrating coming together for a plan making making goodness out of something having support systems right to be able to build this newness whatever this is y'all are manifesting it stop nickel and diming yourself about it and there goes that black and white again make sure that we're looking at things black and white this is either going to help or it's going to hinder you're either an asset or a liability right and those that you do partner with, there's something about making sure that y'all have the bottom line, like uh, a common denominator, like a common bottom line. We're all coming together for this. Because if, if everybody's not on that same accord, it'll end up splitting. So if this might be a business, this might be buying a house, this could, this could be anything in your life that you have other people collaborating together. We all have to know that we're coming in here to make a 2% difference or we're all coming in here to, to, to walk away with at least 10,000 or more. Like just make sure that everybody's bottom line is looked at because somebody may not be in alignment with where you, you see yourself going. Okay. I don't know what limes or lemons have to do with anything, but I'm seeing limes and lemons. Let me get two more cards from the tarot. Somebody may want to, I don't know if this is selling your jewelry or appraising your jewelry. I'm seeing lock boxes, jewelry cases. So if you have some type of heirlooms or something like that, you may want to get those appraised and locked away if that resonates. It could be anything. It could be silver, silverware. Somebody has 100% real silver, silverware. Somebody has crystal pieces, whatever this is. It feels like it, it's worth a good penny. You may want to get it appraised so that you have the document and then lock it away for safekeeping. And that appraisal document, that's what's needed to make sure that it continues to grow assets or grow interest. Only if it resonates for you. This could even just be like grandmom's old pen. Like you might not have a bunch of stuff. You may have one piece that looks like it's really valuable. Go get it looked at. Okay. And then once you know how much it's, it's worth, I'm something about keeping it close to your chest. So you're not telling anybody about it. You're just locking it away for safekeeping for the family. All right. This could be an old car. You may have um, received a car like an old, I don't know why I want to say a 62 or a 52 Chevy. I know that was real particular. So only if it resonates. Vic, I'm telling you, wise choices, promotions, awards, and scholarships. What have y'all been fighting for that you know you deserve? It's time. I'm hearing victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Decisive and focused. Choose intellectual responses, not emotional ones, not 
like I said, we're not coming from a, we're blowing up out of nowhere space. Everything that y'all are going towards now is valid. You have factual evidence that what was no longer works and I need to move towards something new. Empress, you're showing up again. You've already cut out the ego. You've already let go of the fact that God's going to do what God's going to do. Y'all are not being trapped. Justice is on your side. And Empress energy, male or female. All right, I, I know I wasn't going to be here too long. Let's get something that we should surrender and we're going to get something from the spirit team and close this thing out. Somebody wants to have a networking barbecue or you're, you're, you were invited to a, some type of networking event, but it seems like it's outside. Go to all the networking events. <laughs> Rub elbows. Some of you may just want to get more in tune with your spiritual team. Maybe you're not looking for an actual like corporate connections. Maybe you're looking for more spiritual connections. Some of you need to start writing a journal. You can't get a hold of your thoughts. You don't know what to say or what to pray or what to ask for because you, you're not allowing yourself to get it out. Stop shoving everything in thinking that no one's going to understand you and just write it. Just It doesn't have to make sense. It, it can literally just be a bunch of keywords on a paper, but some of y'all don't know where to start because you got too much going on inside of you. It's like 16 traffic jams in your head. You can't focus on one thing to try to figure it out because you got all these squirrel moments. Just get a pen and paper or get your, your cell phone and text yourself. Get it out. Some of y'all just need to get it out, my love. Just It doesn't have to make sense. And you can literally write that. I don't know where to start. This shit don't make sense. I'm pissed off. I'm irritated. I'm exhausted. Okay. But you got to get it out. All right. What needs to be surrendered for my love to move in? Thank you. One, I know that's right. One more in the bottom of the deck, please, Spirit. I know that. This is right on time. Surrender stress. Take a few deep breaths and exhale the tension you've built up in your body. Let the stress go as you come back to your center. Surrender worry. Make a commitment not to lead, any, to lead an anxiety-driven life. When worries arise, breathe them out of your body. Focus on the power of your heart and have faith that spirit is guiding you. Like I said, God hasn't forgotten. And surrender to receiving support and love. Allow the love and support of others in rather than trying to handle everything yourself. This can take pressure off and simultane simultaneously <laughs> nurture you. Like I said, with the networking, this doesn't have to be networking at work. This could be trying to find a friend who understands where you're at in your spirituality finding a friend who you can just throw it all up with and they're just going to allow you to feel safe and comfortable whatever this is you don't have to walk this path alone and some of y'all do have some people i'm hearing that everybody has somebody you may feel like you don't send me an email i will make sure that you have somebody you hear me but y'all don't don't feel like you have to go about this on your own and at the bottom of the deck is surrender negative thinking you have control over your thoughts. When negative thoughts surface, say thank you for sharing and quickly refocus on positive affirmations. All right, let's see what the spirit team, who's Glenda? Somebody have an aunt or a loved one on the other side, Glenda, Gloria, Joshua, Maxwell, Thomas, Grady, or they called him Grady because he looked or sound like Grady from Sanford and Son. Last name Jackson, Mississippi, Louisiana. So the Jacks, this last name of Jackson is Mississippi, Louisiana, Alabama. Something like that. Torrance, the last name of Torrance, it would be California or Washington area, possibly Idaho, Arkansas. Okay, that was real, real specific. All right, spirit. I I don't know if this is rude to say, but I keep hearing Chicano. So I don't sorry, I'm, you know, African American. I don't know if Chicano is is a rude word or not. <laughs> That's what I heard. No disrespect. Don't come for auntie, please and thank you. May I have two cards from the spirit team in the bottom of the deck. 
somebody likes Charlie Wilson. I have a loved one on the other side that loves Charlie Wilson. Someone's an avid Michael Jackson fan. Prince. Somebody's a Prince fan. Heavy Prince fan. All right. So that's loved ones on the other side that could be giving you messages. Take a moment. <clears throat> Stop. Now is not the time to rush into the decision you're about to make. Before this important decision is made, take a moment to pause and quiet your mind. Greta, Greta and Bertha. Okay. If you have a, a, <laughs> an elder female in your life that would bust in the room, Greta and Bertha or G and B is what I'm getting. They're here. Okay. <laughs> quiet your mind so that you can ask your soul for guidance before you act or move forward. There, this is what I was talking about, y'all. Thank you. Spirit got a lot. Of, okay. Quiet in your mind. But sometimes, like I said, you got like 16 different tra traffic jams going on. There might be 16 different things that you need to figure out. But you can't because it's just too much. It's too much clutter. And I love how they have the butterflies in her head because just like the poem says, when you sit quietly in, in peace, that's when the butterfly will come to you. But if you chase after the butterfly, it will continue to elude you. And so if y'all are running behind yourself trying to figure it out, it's like, that's why. Turn it down. Calm down. Sit down. Write it out. Regurgitate it. Whatever it is. I got 20 things I need to do. I need to do this, this, that, that, that. Let's write it out so that we can see it. Because in your head right now, it's, it's 20 different IMAX theaters going off and you're trying to pay attention to all 20 movies at the same time and you're not getting anywhere. Day to day, you're not getting where you want to be because you're cutting yourself short. You're giving two minutes and you're giving three minutes and you're giving five minutes and you're not getting anything done. Okay, so maybe write out what you need to get done and put it in a priority list for those others. I just feel like you need to regurgitate it so that you just can get it out <laughs> so that we can start to put a plan together of what we need to focus on. Trust. While your logical mind is dictating a supposedly clear direction, your soul's inner guidance is urging you to follow an alternative path. The logical path may be the one that you consider safe and more familiar, but you can be missing out on boundless opportunities and so much more. Y'all got the manifest card. Y'all got the magician. And y'all know how I feel about manifesting. You manifest from that heart space. When your upper three chakras are connected and your lower three chakras are aligned, then we can have that heart's desire happen, right? So trust the process. And something, like I said, get, it's all about getting out of your head. It's all about getting out of your head. Um, vulnerability. This, confirma this is confirmation that you're seeking to tread into the unknown, unfamiliar territory where decisions are based more on intuition, right? Then rationality. Don't let fear hold you back or allow a misguided sense that feeling vulnerable is somehow a negative condition. It's not. It may be unfamiliar to be in this space, but it's what your soul is guiding you to do. And you are being supported and you are forgiven and you've been the caretaker. So now it's time for you to embrace the moment and to have the new beginnings. But to get there, you have to find your center. Go ahead, spirit. And stop self-sabotaging yourself. The synchronicities that you have been receiving have been confirming that you are going to receive. It's on the way. Don't let people condition you to keep the same old people, the same old jobs. Don't allow somebody's title in your life to keep you stagnant. It's, it's time for breakthroughs. It's time to stand on it. It's time to stand on it. Victory, wise choices, action when needed, inaction when not needed. Speak up when you need to speak up. Be quiet when you don't need to say nothing, right? Stand up for yourself. No more of this. No more of this. It's time for this now. Forward movement. All right, my loves. That's all I have for this reading. I will make sure that it's on YouTube. Don't worry, everything is under control. Just get it out. I just keep hearing that. Just get it out. So whatever you need to purge, sing it out, speak it out. Hell, one of the songs that I'll turn on is Eminem and Jay-Z, Renegade. When I'm ready to really act like I'm about to bust through this blessing <laughs> and can't nobody stop me when I'm on my Joan of Arc type energy, 
that song, listen, you can't tell me nothing when that song comes on. You hear me? So whatever song gets you revved up to know, I'm hearing, um, we're going to take it to the moon. I think that's Beyonce and Kanye and Jay-Z. Take it to the moon. Take it to the stars. Whatever it is that gets you revved up to know that can't nobody keep you down and that your blessings are right through that door. That's where God wants y'all to keep your energy. Keep high, vibing high and don't allow nobody to get in your way. I love y'all to life until we meet again. <laughs> y'all know how I do. DMX, listen, don't get me started. Rough riders all the way. Okay. <laughs> but until we meet again, y'all know how I do. Sending y'all peace, prosperity, protection, and paradise vibes. Until we connect again, take care of yourself and your soul. All right? Namaste. <laughs>